Hello again, students. Um, now, this is the uh, syllabus 2.4 of your book and chemistry level. Uh, I want to continue with the react calculating the reacting masses and the volumes, but this time for the gases. And what I want to tell you is that the chemists, they determine the number of the moles of any gas by measuring its volume. This cannot be actually done for the solids and the liquids. So if you calculate the number of the moles of the, any gases, you can find and measure its volume. It is found that under the same temperature and the pressure, equal volume of all gases contain the same number of the particles, which means molar volume. Molar volume. In the molar volume, we say that volume of one mole of the gas volume of one mole of any gas this one equals to molar volume so under the same temperature and the same pressure equal volume of all the gases that contain the same number of the particles we call this as the molar volume molar volume in another way you can say that the volume occupied is a volume occupied by Avogadro number zero six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three particles of the gas. This is the vol which this volume is occupied by this number of the particles of the gases, which call this as molar volume. So molar volume of any gas, um, if you want to calculate uh, there are actually uh, equation but these equations are two different equations i mean there are two different uh constants that you use so for uh, there are two different conditions available usually for the gases that i write for you one of them is rtp and the other one is stp rtp means that room in the room temperature and also in the room and the room pressure. The room temperature and pressure. For the room temperature here is 25 Celsius, equals to 25 Celsius, or in Kelvin is 298 Kelvin. If you want to convert uh, Celsius from temperature from Celsius to the Kelvin. This is the formula that you use. Temperature in Celsius, sorry, in Kelvin, equals to temperature in Celsius, temperature in Celsius plus 273.15. This is a conversion that you can do from Celsius to Kelvin. Here in the calculations, in the formula, you have to use Kelvin, not the Celsius. So if you see Celsius in the equation, you have to first convert it into Kelvin. The room pre also the pressure will be one atmosphere. So this is RTP condition. In this kind of the condition, if they tell you under the RTP or the room temperature and pressure, then this is the formula that you have to use to calculate the volume of the gas which is V equal volume equals to the number of the moles times 24. 24 is the MQ per mole. This is the unit of this one, and this one is mole. Okay, so the volume will be calculated also in the MQ. How about the other condition? The other condition that the gases may face to is called as STP. It's mean a standard. 
standard temperature and pressure. So in the standard uh, temperature and pressure, the temperature is considered as zero Celsius. Zero Celsius equals to how many Kelvins? 273.15 Kelvin. And the pressure, pressure is also 1 atm or atmosphere. In this kind of condition, if they, in this question they tell you that the gas is actually on the, the or the uh, preparation is done under the uh, STP condition or standard temperature, then this is the formula that you use to calculate the amount of the volume of the gas, which is V equals to N times 22.4. 22.4 mean uh, the unit is dm cubed as like a volt per mole and n here is in mole and volume is in the m cube so based on this we have another two triangles of the this is a triangle for the gases so we have n we have v and this is under the rtp condition which and this so I write here 24 and the triangle of the gases and this is 22.4 and here is V. So this is under STP condition. So under STP, the temperature should be zero, which is 273.15 Kelvin, and the pressure 1 atm of 1 Pascal. And also for the RTP will be uh, the temperature will be 25, which is equal to 298 Kelvin and the pressure of one uh, atmosphere. So each one atmosphere equals to 101,000 Pascal. And another also uh, equation you are going to use and uh, which is pressure volume if you have pressure volume number of the mole then also is uh, this is the universal gas constant which is R and T is the temperature so if these are given to you you can use this formula to work out the number of the moles or the volume or pressure or temperature of the gases so what is R? As I said, R is the universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. The amount of R equals to 0 0.08206 L atm over mole times Kelvin. So these are what you need to know before you go answering the questions. So let's see some examples. So this is a question, what is the volume of the 0 0.4 mole, 0 0.4 mole of carbon dioxide gas uh, under the standard temperature and the pressure or STP. So what you know is the molar volume under this kind of the conditions, molar volume under this kind of condition equals to 22.4 for dm cube per mole. So what you do is you have to calculate number of the moles for the carbon dioxide, which is 0 0.4 mole, that you already know it. Now, what is the volume of the carbon dioxide here, this gas? So it becomes number of the mole times 22.4, the answer is 8.96 dm cube or decimeter so this is another example. Find the number of the moles of ammonia gas contained in a sample of the 60 centimeter cube of the gas of gas at the RTP condition or uh, room temperature and pressure. So uh, in the room temperature and the pressure, if you remember, the formula that we were using was the V equals to N times 22.4, which is the molar mass of the gas under this uh, sorry, is RTP, it is 24. 
is 24, which is the molar mass of, of the each gas under RTP condition. So now we have the V of the sample, which is 60 cm cube, and we have to first convert cm cube into the standard unit, which is dm cube. So it equals to 60 divided by 1000 equals to 0 0.06 dm cube, decimeter cube. Now we just substitute. Um, the number of the moles equal for the sample equals to volume of the sample of the sample, which is 0 0.06 over the over the molar volume, which is 24. It is equals to 0 point no 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 two and five mole of the sample. Let's have a look at the relationship between the mole number of the particles, mass, and the volume in the gases. So this question asks, what is the volume of the 12 grams of the methane and STP? So, uh, but knowing that the atomic mass of the hydrogen is 1 and carbon is 12. So you can pause the video if you like and do the calculation. And so mass of the CH4 is 12 gram grams. So the number of the moles for the CH4 or the methane equals to mass over the molar mass, which is 12 plus 4 times 1, which is 12 over 16. And the answer is 0 0.75 mole. Now the volume, volume of the CH4 equals to 0 0.75 times 22.5. For under STP, the molar volume is 22.4. This is the molar volume under STP, STP condition. And this is the number of the mole equals to V, isn't it? So, what is the answer of this one? Equals to 16.8 dm cubed. And that's the answer. This is another example. A sample of the 120 centimeter cube of the CO2 is collected at the room conditions. Room condition, so it is very important. This is also something that we have to note. Uh, in an experiment, calculate mass of the sample of the carbon dioxide. So by knowing that the atomic mass of the carbon 12, oxygen is 16. So first of all, look at the units. Are they correct? No, they are not the standard. So you have to convert them. So the volume of the CO2 actually is 120 divided by 1000 to change into dmq becomes 0 0.12 dmq. So the next one is that the number of the moles of the CO2 under room condition means RTP. In the room condition, the molar volume, the molar volume will be 24. So now I do the calculations. So it becomes 0 0.12 over 24 equals to 0 0.005 mole. And in grams, you have to convert this one into grams. I write a little bit here so I have more space. Uh, so this is much more. So now convert it to gram. The gram becomes m grams of the CO2 equals to 0 0.005 times the atomic atomic mass of it is 12 plus 2 times 16. Sorry, I just removed this one to now, this is V of the CO2 volume is 0 0.12 decimeter cube, and we have the number of the moles becomes 0 0.005 times 12 plus 2 times 16. The answer will be 0 0.22 grams of the carbon dioxide. This is the mass of the carbon dioxide. The next question is asking how many hydrogen uh, molecules are in 6 dm cube of the hydrogen gas at room condition. Room condition means RTP again. So for RTP, the formula that we use equals to V equals to N times 
24, which is the molar mm, volume of the uh, any gas, hydrogen gas. So the first thing is that we know that the V of the uh, hydrogen is 60 m cube and it is a unit right to unit two. So the mole of the hydrogen gas equals to the six over 24, which is, uh, if you look at here, so you just need to rearrange the formula because we need the mole, so it becomes N equals to V over 24. So then that's what you are using here. So we just substitute, we put uh, volume in it, which is 60 m cube, and after that, the answer will be 0 0.25 mole of the hydrogen. So number of the hydrogen molecules equals to number of the hydrogen molecule, number, number of the moles of hydrogen molecule uh, times our gather number, number of the molecule. Molecules for the hydrogen equals to number of the moles, moles of the uh, hydrogen times our gather number. So I just substitute it again, so it becomes 0 0.25 mole times our gather number, which is 6.02 times 10 power 22. So the answer, the final answer, will be 1.5 times 10 power 23 molecules of H2 hydrogen. So this is the final answer. Now look at the next question. Find the volume of the nitrogen gas in CM cube at STP condition that consists of 2.48 times 10 to the power of 23 nitrogen molecules. This time we have the number of the particles of the molecules and we need to find the volume this time so let's see nitrogen molecules or this much and the number of the moles number of the moles of the n2 equal to the particles over to the Avogadro number which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of the 23 equals to 2.408 times 10 to the power of the 23 over 6.02 times 10 to the power of the 23. So this equals to overall answer 0 0.4 mole is the mole, number of the mole. Now we have number of the moles of the N2. What we are supposed to find out is the volume of the N2. Volume of the N2 equals to number of the moles, which is 8.96 times 1,000. I just press write this one becomes then for four times 22 to four because this is the STP condition. So the molar volume will be this one and the answer will be 8.96 dm cube. And then if I convert this one into cm cube, they are asking us into cm cube. So it becomes 08.96 times 1000 equals to 8960 centimeter cube. This is the final answer. Now have a look at this one. How many grams of water will be produced by 58.2 liter of the CH4 at STP condition? So imagine that the O2 is in excess. So the first thing we have to write the equation CH4 plus oxygen. It gives carbon dioxide and water but this is not balanced. In order to balance this, we have to put two here and one two here. So then in the step, next step, we have to convert uh, the liter of the carbon uh, to the, the CH4 into uh, uh, moles of the CH4. So each one mole, each one mole of CH4, okay, 
um, it's one mole of the CH4 under the STP condition, because that's the STP, has 22.4 dm cube volume or liter. dm cube and the liter both of them are equal. So now what we know is that we have now this, this much liter, this is the volume of the CH4. So in order to gain the moles of the CH4, mole of CH4 equals to 58.2 liter divided by 22.4 liter equals to 2.60 moles. So now we have the moles of the methane. So uh, now we have to convert the moles of the CH4 into the moles of the H2O. If you look at the uh, equation, each one, uh, each one mole of the CH4, the ratio between the H2O and it gives two H2O. Now we have 2.60 mole. How many moles of the water it gives us? So moles of the water equals to 2.60 times 2. This answer will be 5.20 moles of the water. Now we have moles of the water. We need to convert this mole into grams of water. So molecular mass of the H2O equals to 18 if you calculate. So the mass will be number of the moles of the H2O times molar mass of the H2O equals to 93.6 grams of H2O. So if temperature and pressure are different, we cannot use this kind of equations, okay? We have to use ideal gas law. We got this question, if 85 grams of the Na and 3 decomposes at 75 Celsius and under the pressure of the 2.30 atm, what volume of the nitrogen gas will be made by knowing that the molar mass of the Na and 3 is 65 gram per mole. So the first thing, write the equation, Na and 3, which is a solid, it gives and A, sodium plus sodium plus nitrogen gas. So it is not balanced. You have to balance it. We have two here, two and three. So in the first step, we have the mass of the Na and three, so we can get the mole of it. So the moles of the Na and three becomes 85 over 65, which is equal to 1.31 mole of the Na and three. And so we have got the mole ratio between this one and Na2. So each two Na and three gives three moles of it. So the uh, ratios of the moles is two, three. Uh, you can see here. So if now we have 1.31 mole of this, how many moles of the N2 it gives us? So the moles number of the moles of the N2, it is equal to N equals to 1.31 times 3 divided by 2 divided by 2 so the answer will be 1.97 mole of nitrogen yes the mole of the nitrogen now should be converted into the liter of the nitrogen yes how should I change it today uh, this to the volume in liter so because we have different uh, now pressure and the temperature, so we are, what, what we are doing is this. What we know is the pressure. Pressure is 2.30 atm atmosphere. And the V, that's what we have to calculate in liter. And the N is the number of the moles, 1.97 mole. And what else do we have is temperature is 75 Celsius. If I want to convert into Kelvin because plus, uh, 273 or 0.15 also can, 348 will be in Kelvin 
and uh, we have R value, which is the uh, gas constant, universal gas constant, which is 0 0.08226 uh, L ATM over uh, K mole Kelvin. So these are what we have, and what we are calculating here is V. The formula for the V, if you remember, I said is the PV equals to NRT. Now, if you rearrange the formula, you will have V equals to NRT over P, pressure. So I just substitute this one equals to 1.97 here moles times uh, the temperature, which is 348 times R value 0 0.08206 divided by 2.30. The answer of the V is 24.5 liter ODM cube. So this is another question. What is the volume of the 2.5 mole of the argon gas at STP or standard? Condition. So what actually we are asking is the volume of the argon that we don't know and we have to calculate But what we know is the temperature under STP is 273.15 Kelvin and we know also the pressure which is 1 atmosphere and we know the R value which is 0.0802 0 and the a number of the moles, that's what we have to calculate also. And here, the formula that we have is PV equals to NRT. So we know that each one mole of this gas equals to 22.4. Uh, this is the volume, liter or the C meter cube of this gas. That's what we know. And so now what, what we have to do is that we say one mole of it, one mole of it is this much liter. So now we have 2.5, 2.5 mole, 2.5 mole. So 2.5 mole we have becomes how many liter? So this one is equals to 2.5 times 22.4 divided by 1 becomes 56 liter or 56 dm cube. This is the answer. So I got another question for you. Propane gas, C3H8 reacts with the oxygen gas O2 to produce carbon dioxide underwater. What volume of the carbon dioxide would be produced if 8.4 liter or DC or DMQ of the oxygen reacts with excess propane gas? So the first thing, write the equation. Four, I already have written and I already have balanced it. So become four C3 H8 plus five O2. It gives three CO2 plus four water molecule. You can just do the uh, calculation by yourself and try to see if it is correct or maybe wrong. But the next part, we have volume uh, of the oxygen. The volume of the oxygen is 8.4 liter. Volume of the carbon dioxide, we don't know. But we know the mole ratios, which is 5 and 3. So it means that this one times this one and divided by this one becomes volume of the carbon dioxide equals to 8.4 times 3 divided by 5. The answer will be 5.04 liter of carbon dioxide. So we got we found the more ratios of each 
for oxygen is 5, for the uh, carbon dioxide is 3. So you just need to know, if you know the oxygen uh, is uh, this much liter, so how many liter of the carbon dioxide you will have at the end, that's what you are, we have done. So it becomes this one times the number of the moles of the CO2 divided by the number of moles of the oxygen. So that would be the answer. The next question, 7.45 grams of the solid magnesium carbonate is heated until it completely decomposes into carbon dioxide and magnesium oxide. What volume of the CO2 gas will be made at STP? Remember this one? And well, knowing that the AR or uh, atomic mass of the magnesium is 24.305, and carbon is 12.01 and oxygen is 16. So first write the formula, which is Mg, CO3 plus carbon dioxide, sorry, it gives carbon dioxide and also magnesium oxide. This is already balanced. We know that under the STP, each one mole each one mole occupies of the gas occupies a 22.4 liter or the m cube that's what we know so the molecular mass molecular mass of the mg co3 uh, if you calculate because 24.305 plus 12.01 plus 3 times 16, it is equal to 84.315 gram. So um, I can write here for you as I, I omit this one, I'll clean it, the question. Now the mg, okay, the molecular, molecular of this one becomes 24. 0.305 plus 12.01 plus 3 times 16 and this one overall becomes 84 point sorry becomes I write here 30 80 sorry 80.4.315 gram uh, per mole the mole ratio now of the mg CO3 and the carbon dioxide is 1 to 1, Mg, CO3 and CO2. The mole ratio is 1 to 1. And we know that each one mole of this gas contains 22.4 liter. You see? So it means that this is, this is the gram per mole. Okay? In the CO3. So... What we are supposed to do is that we find the number of the moles first. 7.45 over 84.315. This is the number of the moles for the MgCO3. So it is equal to 7.45. So I come I don't have the calculator first I do this one. So the number of the moles for the MgCO3 becomes the mass which is, you already know how many grams it is, it's 7.45 gram, over uh, the molar mass that we have already calculated. So now we have, this is the number of the moles of the MgCO3, but what I want is the number of the moles for the carbon dioxide. So we see that it did, uh, actually they have a mole ratio of the one one, so times one will be the one. So now I convert it into the uh, moles of the CO2 times this one becomes moles of CO2, N of the CO2. So but what I need here is that I need to convert it into the liter, uh, the volume. So volume of each one mole equals to 22.4. So now how many moles do we have this much? This much. So this one should be times 22.4. So the answer of this will be 1.98 liter or dm cube of carbon dioxide co2 
let's have a look at this question. Solid magnesium nitride reacts with the excess liquid water to produce ammonia gas and solid magnesium hydroxide. If 4.7 liter of ammonia gas was collected at 300 Kelvin at a pressure of 1.618, how many grams of magnesium nitride was consumed in this reaction? So the first thing, as usual, we have to write down the uh, equation and balance it. So I have written the equation, and this equation also is balanced. So in STP condition, one mole occupies, uh, yes, uh, the first thing, sorry. This, what is given to us, we have to know that the Mg3N2 is the limiting, limiting reagent. And this is the limiting reagent. So that's what defines the number of the products, uh, how, many, how much product we can have. What is given to us is the volume of the NH3 is given to us and it is uh, 4.7 dm cubed. The temperature, so this is dm cubed, and the temperature also is 300 Kelvin and the pressure is 1.6 atm. The formula that we know is PV equals to nRT. So now, the molar mass of the Mg and 2 molar mass equals to 3 times 124.305 plus 2 times 14.01 and the answer will be 100.935 grams per mole of, this is the molar mass for this. So I already calculated the molar mass of this one. Now I want to calculate the number of the moles of the NH3. The number of the moles for NH3, it is equals to, based on this equation, 106 times, which is the uh, pressure, times 4.7, which is the volume, equals to number of the moles, times R value, which is 0, 0.0. 0, 008 as uh, 206 and this times 300. The answer for this will be n equals to 7.52 divided by 24.618 equals to 0 0.3055 mole of NH3. So this is the mole of NH3. Then I have to convert the moles into grams, so we have the mole ratio 2. Um, so now we have for each Mg, uh, Mg3 and 2, you got, if you have one mole of this, so NH3 will have 2. So this mole ratio is 1 to 2. Now we have this much of the this much more of the NH3, how many moles of these Mg3 and O and 2 do we have? This is what you are supposed to do. The number of the moles of the Mg3 and 2 equals to this number times 1 divided by 2. It is equal to 1, 0 0.15275. This is the number of the moles for the Mg3 and 2. But how many grams? becomes number of the moles times MR value equals to mass. So it becomes 0 0.15275 times 100.935. And the final answer will be, the final answer will be 15 point forty two grams. This is the final answer. And we got one more question. Uh, 4.85 liter of 
and H3 gas as 25 Celsius at 1.45 atm was mixed with the 5.23 liter of oxygen gas at 32 Celsius at 1.63 atm to make or produce water and nitrogen gas. You need to determine the volume of the nitrogen gas produced if it was isolated and collected at the 37 Celsius at a pressure of 1.52 atm. So first of all, we should, if you write down whatever you have got and whatever it asks you to calculate, it would be much more better. So I write down the equation and balance it. So we got 4 and H3 plus so 4 and H3 plus 3O2 plus 6 water molecule and 2 and 2. So now we have to find define their uh, limiting reactant and also the excess reactant to know which one actually of them uh, defines the amount of the product. In order to do that, you have to find the mole ratios. So first of all, you have to write down the number of the, you know this formula, you just I have rearranged it. So the number of the four mole for the NH3 equals to. So if you look at the question, it says that the pressure, uh, the pressure also, uh, the pressure is given. So it is 1.40, uh, the pressure, the pressure is 1.45 times 4.85. Then we have the R value, which is 0, 0, 8, 2, 0, 6. And this one times temperature, which is 27 plus 273.15 to convert it into Kelvin. So the answer will be 0 0.2855 moles, moles of NH3. So the number of the moles for the nitrogen gas, N of the O2 equals to, we do the same process. So we have pressure 1.63 times 5.23, which is the number, which is the uh, volume. And then we got the R value, which is 0 0.08. 206 times 32 plus 273.15 and convert to Kelvin. So the answer 0 0.3406 mole of oxygen. Now divide them by the coefficients that they have. It means that this value should be divided by 3 and the other one which is an H3, should be divided by 4. So we do this, and the answer for this one will be 0 0.1135 moles. And for the other, for the oxygen, uh, so this is for oxygen, and then for the NH3, we will have the answer will be 0, 0 0.0714. We make a comparison between these two and see which one is less. So 0 0.0714 is smaller than 0 .0, 0 0.1135, which is the moles of the oxygen, which is for NH3 and this is for oxygen. So we, we conclude that the NH3 is the limiting reagent and the oxygen is excess reagent. So it means that now I have to define the number of the product by looking at the NH3 values. Now I say that NH3, uh, each four mole of it, it gives how many moles of the N2? Two. So this is there. So I can make it simpler. So make it two and one. So this is the mole ratio between these two. So now I have zero point, uh, Sorry, I have 0 0.2857 of the NH3. Sorry, 0 0.2857 of NH3. So it becomes 
zero point two eight five seven divided by two. The answer will be zero one zero uh, zero point one four two eight mole of N two. The moles of the N two. This much will be produced. So how much volume? Volume equals to PV. Equals PV. Uh, sorry, number of the moles, it, uh, number of the, the volume equals to NRT over pressure. So it becomes equals to 0 0.1428 uh, times 0 0.0, 0 0.028206 0 uh, times uh, the temperature in Kelvin becomes 273.15 plus 37. I, I rewrite this one because I don't have any more space. So it becomes like so 1.0148 times 0 0.08206 times 273.15 uh, plus 37 divided by all these 1.52 that I already have calculated and the answer should be uh, volume of the nitrogen gas should be 2.389 liter or dm cube or dm cube. So this is the next question and the final question of this part of the chapter. 24 grams of the zinc was mixed with a 245 milliliter of a 1.75 molar. This is the concentration of the HCl solution to produce hydrogen gas and aqueous zinc chloride. Find pressure of the hydrogen isolated and collected inside a 500 milliliter test tube at 25 Celsius. So the first thing as usual, Write the equation and balance it. Use H2 plus ZnCl2. So that's it. So then you have to continue to convert to a uh, mole ratio. First, you have to identify the limiting reactant. So number of the mole for the Z and I already calculated M over the molar mass becomes 24 over 65.39 gram equals to 0 0.367 mole of zinc. And for HCl, mole of the HCl, we have, uh, we have molarity, uh, which means that mole per liter, it means that we have 1.75 mole per liter. This is the molarity. We also need to convert the 245 milliliter into liters. So it means that becomes 245 divided by 1000 becomes 0.245 liter instead of milliliter. Now we can put in the formula to find it out. So it becomes 1.75 mole times 0 0.245 which is the volume this is the mole and we are going to find so 0 0.15 this one okay sorry this is the mole of s and this one equals to 0 0.4288 mole of hcl So it means that now the, we have to find the mole of the HCl, which is 1.75 times 0 0.245 equals to 0 0.4288 mole of the HCl. Now we have to find which one is the limiting reactant, uh, reactant and which one is, is excess. In order to do that, we have the number of the moles of the HCl and also we have Zn. So we should just divide them by the uh, more ratios becomes 0 0.367 divided by 1 
and for the other one becomes 0 0.4288 divided by number of the balls. So for this one, it will be the same, and this one will be 0 0.2144. So we should know which one is less, which one is more. HCL is the limiting. Uh, so uh, HCL, you can see here. This one is the HCL. So the number of is less than this one. So she's been limiting reactant and this one is in excess, excess reactant. So the calculation will be based on the uh, this one, which is the HCL. So these are the data that we already have. Now we have to calculate number of the moles of the H2. So we look at the equation, each HCl, two HCl, it gives uh, one H2, one mole of H2. Now we have 0 0.4288 moles of the HCl, how many moles of the H2 we have. So this number will become number of the moles for the H2 equals to 0 0.4288 divided by two. This is become 0 0.2144 mole of H2 hydrogen gas. Now, we should put it inside the formula to calculate the pressure. The pressure is gained by P equals to nRT over V. I just rearranged the formula that we know. So, by doing this, pressure equals to 0 0.2144 times 0 0.08206, this one also times 298, which is the temperature in Kelvin, divided by 0 0.5. The final answer is equals to P equals to 10.4980 M. So, hope you have... Uh, learned a lot about these sessions and uh, I will come back with the more videos about uh, concentration of the solution and see you next time. Thank you very much.